What's going on guys? Andrew here with yet again another natural reaction. The only reaction channel where we react in the style of Gangnam. Also the reaction channel where I encourage you folks out there to open yourselves up to something new. I've been and it's sure been changing my life thanks to you little rascals. So go down there and click that subscribe button. Follow me on the Instagrams at The Real Natural Reaction and you can also support me on the Patreon if you feel so inclined. Anyway, if you clicked on this, you know that we're taking our first look here on the channel at Mr. Thai, and I'm excited about it because you have stumbled upon my first reaction, I suppose, for my reoccurring weekly theme for the throwbacks slash classics slash where are they now segment. And I figured this would be a good place to start because I was just well, wondering the other day where the freak has Mr. Psy been? Um, he came came into our lives back into, at least over here in the U.S., around like 2012. Came in hard with Gangnam Style. He made a smile and then it's like he disappeared, man. So I was interested. Nobody really commented about this, unfortunately. But I was just interested, so I figured I'd make it into an episode, duders. Hopefully you enjoy. Um, but apparently this cat has been up to a lot in the past few years. He's even done a song with Snoop Dogg called The Hangover, apparently, which I didn't hear yet, but I'll put the link in the description below and you can check that out, um, for yourself as well, because apparently he didn't disappear. I just haven't heard about him. Um, so first, up here I have the, uh, just according to Wikipedia, I have what Gangnam Style refers to. Um, because I always wondered, there was always like rumors and stuff like that, and I wasn't sure, but apparently Gangnam Style is a South Korean, uh, neo neo neologism, neologism, I don't know how to say that word, um, uh, but either way, it's like a common saying, that's what it means, <laughs> uh, that refers to a lifestyle associated with the Gangnam district of Seoul, um, uh, or sorry, of Seoul, sorry, I always uh, say that wrong as well. Um, where people are trendy, hip, and exude a certain uh, supposed class. Uh, nice. Uh, the term was listed in Time uh, Time's weekly vocabulary list as a manner associated with lavish lifestyles in Seoul's Gangnam District, uh, which I thought was interesting. And I think I saw, an, I read about an interview where he kind of refers to it as, he kind of um, draws comparisons between like Beverly Hills and stuff like that out here. So I think he was talking about how the music video, it was supposed to like the, the song is talking about like all these lavish lifestyles, but the music video is like shows the opposite or something like that. So anyway, interesting. Let me know what you think or what you know about that. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and aside from that, I have Mr. Size Wikipedia pulled up here since he is a new, uh, artist on my channel and I'm, I'm just curious. So let's check it out. According to Wikipedia Park, Jay Sang, um, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I apologize if not, was born December 31st, 1977, known professionally as Psy, stylized, all capitals. Um, he's a South Korean singer, rapper, songwriter, and record producer. Um, excuse me. Psy is known domestically for his humorous videos and stage performances, and internationally for his hit single, Gangnam Style. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Um... Yeah, we even know that one all the way out here, party people. Uh, the song's refrain was entered in the Yale Book of Qu uh, Quotations as one of the most famous quotations of 2012. That's crazy. I can believe that, though. Uh, really popular, which is kind of crazy because nobody over here, at least, even knew what that what he was saying or anything like that. But it was just like, I don't know, Gangnam Style, and it's awesome and hilarious and catchy and all that. So, um, interesting. Um, sometimes I guess you just break through the language barriers, right? If it's real good. Anywho, uh, let's see. It goes through a couple other things from uh, kind of his past. Uh, let's let's get let's get uh, past that a little bit. It says 1996 to 2000. Uh, brief study in the United States and his career uh, beginnings. Let's see here. Apparently, he was in the uh, served in the military from 2003 to 2009. It's looking like here, 2010, 2012. His fifth studio album and debut performance in Japan. It goes through, and then in 2012 to 2013, Gangnam Style is an unexpected international breakthrough success. Um, what else? And apparently, um, since since 2012, he had a couple. Um, songs like Gentleman, the ha uh, Hangover and stuff, which were quite popular, had a couple music videos. And the most recent, it says 2019 to the present, um, it mentions P Nation, which actually kind of sounds familiar. I feel like uh, we might we might have checked out 
another artist or two that may be associated with this company. But I'm not sure. Let me know um, if you know. But it says, um, in 2019, he founded his own company, P Nation. He signed his first artist, Jesse, on January 25th, 2019. Uh, two days later, on January 27th, 2019, he also signed both uh, Hyuna and Don, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, formerly of Cube Entertainment, uh, with the latter being a former member of Pentagon under the name... Edon. He also signed Crush on July 17th, 2019, and Haze on September 16th, 2020. So apparently, this cat is still in the biz, uh, possibly working sort of behind the scenes at the moment, but he's got his own label slash company going, and I'm excited about that, which of course leads me to New Face, the music video by Psy, the man himself. And it's from May uh, 10th, 2017, so a couple years ago from the time of this filming. But it also has over 230 million views, party people. So a couple people are still out there listening to him. And I was curious what he was up to, so let's check it out. It's on the uh, official Psy oh, official Psy channel. Sorry, it didn't look like that's what it said. <laughs> uh, apparently, ooh, Psy Volume 7, so the cat's out to up to freaking Volume 7 now. Um, nothing too crazy in the description. So, why don't I just full screen this bad boy for us? Because I've been blabbing away a whole bunch on this one. But the point is, is to hopefully encourage you folks to open yourselves up to something new. Um, this is going to be a weekly reoccurring segment. If you can think of any classics or throwbacks or perhaps where are they now segments, let me know, duders. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. And let's listen to Sigh new face. Let's do this. New face. Is there a sound? Oh, there it is. Oh, snap! Hold on! I think I, I gotta, like, I gotta crack the knuckles and do some shaking out and stretching before we get into this guy. I already feel like I'm, I'm gonna be uh, getting into it with that saxophone beat and stuff. Wow. It did say he was, like, a record producer, so I assume he's, like, uh, musically inclined and has a hand in his own records, perhaps? Uh, I'm not sure. Let me know, duders. Um, but yeah. Let's do this. Know what I'm looking at. No wonder why this cat, like, it almost doesn't even matter what he's saying, even though it's also kind of looks like it's going to be another hilarious one. But it almost doesn't even matter what he's saying. It totally breaks through these language barriers because as soon as you hear this beat, it's like so funky. I like, you can't even help but just like move. So it's all, it's almost like, I don't even care what he's saying because it's just like so dope. This cat knows how to get you moving. I gotta, I gotta say, this is literally like the second song I've, I've ever heard from this cat. And you know, Gangnam Style being the first one, get you moving. Um, this is awesome. Um, that is not one of the girls, um, from the group that I literally can't think of their name right now. One of the lovesick girls, is it? Kind of looks like, like, um, Rose, Rose, I don't know. I actually don't really know their different names. Rosie? Something like that. Uh, I could be wrong and I apologize if I am, but you can't even pretend like that doesn't look like one of them. I, I don't know why I can't think of their name. Maybe I'll put it up there in one of my notes, but anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Heaven. Just met, met heaven. Some new face. Face, face. Huh. 
So at first I kind of thought he was talking about like maybe like a new lady or something like that. But now it's like, is he talking about like changing up like who he is kind of deal? Like changing up his looks or something to be like in a different, I don't know, class of people or something like that. I don't know. Either way, it's entertaining the freaking dance moves and the beat and stuff like that. But it might take me a couple times to catch all these lyrics and stuff, especially since I'm in the middle of dancing and trying to read and listen at the same time. So hope you don't get mad at me. But I absolutely listen again, party people. Thanks for watching. He said he's, he's born in like 1977, right? So he's like 40 something, right? Still, still wiggling around, right? That's exciting to know that, that we still got a few years left, a few good wiggle years left in us, right? That's exciting. <laughs> Oh, I just noticed right now. Sorry, I had to pause that for a second because he's totally inside this. Uh, there's like a mall in Las Vegas. It looks like he's outside, but I actually was here in the past couple of years. Um, that's actually like a big dome ceiling kind of that's just painted like the outside sky. And it's sort of, um, oh yeah, there's like dudes on like the boats. What are they, gondolas perhaps? That go through like this little stream in the middle. And it actually sort of feels like you're outside um, in this dope mall kind of down the Las Vegas Strip or whatever, except it's inside. I don't know. Pretty cool. Interesting, uh, interesting location for a music video, I suppose. And there are those dudes. That's awesome. I just, sorry, I just noticed. I was like, this looks familiar. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Interesting. Interesting. Definitely catchy. You can't even pretend like you're not like trying not to dance, right? And he just walked in and knocked on my door. <laughs> that it's like he knows exactly like what to say and what to do to freaking make it catchy right um yeah i can't i can't tell if he's talking about like i want a new face like he wants to change his own or something or, like he wants a new face like new lady bring in like the new girls or you know whatever you're into and stuff like that either way super entertaining and i love this cat apparently he's still you killing face, it though that's where face, he's at you, you, you face. Hey, we want some new face <laughs> Okay, so they're definitely just like kind of partying and chilling in freaking Las Vegas, and he clearly was made to look like he was peeing in that fountain right there, right? <laughs> hey, it goes, just goes to show you that pee jokes are still funny, even if you're in your 40s and stuff, and even if you're from South Korea, right? <laughs> this dude is awesome. Apparently, he's still killing it, and he hasn't gone anywhere, dude. He's got a label he's working on, still messing with some dope music videos. Um, uh, yeah, he's awesome. This is exciting. I'm glad I did this, actually. Sorry, you can't even pretend like this isn't just like super catchy and fun right now. If you feel me, hit that subscribe button. This is sick. And they dabbed into the pool. 
and they dabbed into the freaking pool party people wow that was dope i'm super glad i checked that out no thanks to any of you leaving any freaking comments about them sorry for yelling but seriously if you were wondering where Sai is now that's what he's up to starting labels and still just freaking killing it with super catchy and fun videos I'm going to be honest with you, probably not the person you would have expected me to get it from, but I kind of feel inspired to learn how to dance now. I know I've been saying on a couple other videos on my channel, like I've kind of been having been having a more of a greater appreciation, I suppose, for dancing. Uh, but that seriously was like, seems so fun. I actually kind of want to like get into some of these moves and stuff. And like, I kind of actually feel like dancing right now. That's like my natural reaction after listening to that. So nope. anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate you folks. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. It helps keep these videos coming. You can follow me on the Instagrams at The Real Natural Reaction, and you can also submit official reaction requests on my Patreon page if you feel so inclined. Have a great day, and hey, I guess I'll just catch you on the next Natural Reaction.